thanks for joining me. This talk is entitled Close Scrapes Teach Us Lessons. In the course of our lives, especially the longer you live, when you have a, a brush with death, you stop and you think and you give thanks as well when you've been spared because recently here in Jamaica we had a, a close scrape, a brush with death as it were when the vehicle we're in came uh, plunging over the, the side of the road and ended up upside down in a, in a ditch but thanks to God we escaped unhurt, me, my wife and the driver and a couple of years ago I had a, a close scrape after operation in hospital left me in danger. You may have been in a, a situation in life which caused you to, to stop and think. It might be a bad diagnosis or some mishap or some close scrape on the road and you, you stop and you think. There was a preacher in the last century and uh, in his prayers at the close of the service he used to say that our lives are short and uncertain. One of my aunties died a couple of years ago, she was 103. My father's grandmother, I think it was, in uh, St Elizabeth, Jamaica, she lived about 111 years. But in the light of, of eternity, 103, 111, they're pretty short and the Bible describes our life as a vapour. And lest we forget, there's a verse in the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Jesus spoke a lot about the afterlife. This life here on earth isn't the only life we have to face because after death, there is the judgment. Jesus is often portrayed as gentle, meek and mild, but the same Jesus, that's true, because he says, come unto me all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But that same Jesus also spoke a lot about the day of reckoning when we have to appear before God and give an account of our lives here on earth. But the thing is, is that the Bible says that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of of God everyone and that is why we're in trouble and that is why Jesus warned so much about the judgment and the Bible uses three different terms to talk about sin or doing wrong it uses the word sin which is like an arrow shot by a, a archer falls short of the target that's one we've fallen short of God's expectations then there's the word transgression transgression is like when we step over the mark we might do our best but we step over, we exceed the boundaries. And then there's the word iniquity, which is rebellion, just doing your own thing. Everybody's life isn't the same. We see some people by the human standards who are worse than others. Their lives are just unrestrained. But some people appear respected, res respectable, but in God's sight, in the scriptures, the gospel says that we've all fallen short. There's none righteous, no, not one. Even the best are flawed, on the way to judgment in God's eyes. But the gospel is good news. Without forgiveness of sins, without Jesus, we're in trouble. But the gospel in Thessalonians, it says that Jesus delivers us from the wrath to come. The wrath to come, which are sins. On the day of judgment, when we have to answer before God, would put us in trouble. On the cross, when Jesus died, he said, it is finished, the debt is paid for in full. Why did Jesus come? Jesus said, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost, which is all of us. He came to give his life as a ransom for many. Literally, he gave his life, the price was the price paid to free a captive, a slave, somebody in bondage or somebody being held for ransom. Jesus said that he was paying that. It is finished, literally, in English, three words, and literally, it's fully paid for. The debt that our sins put us in trouble with God, Jesus was paying on the cross. Jesus says, if you commit sins, which is all of us, you're a slave of sin. 
But he says if the sun sets you free, if I set you free, you'll be free indeed. You haven't got the power in and of yourself to save yourself from your sin. But when Jesus forgives us, when we're free of that debt, he changes us, he puts the Holy Spirit in us, he gives us a new birth and we're different. We're forgiven, but we also have new natures. We're also given power to live lives that are pleasing in God's sight. So these close grapes, they make us stop and think. There's no such thing as luck. It's God's warning to us, God's loudspeaker saying stop and think. Stop and think. And thanks for listening. And I pray that you'll stop and think and be made right with God. Thank you.